Glassing Technologies provides two different types of audio recorders. This is one of them. Step 1. Getting to know your device. If you look at the bottom of the recorder, you'll notice a little panel. This houses the battery. You can replace the battery as much as you need during your recordings. Turn the device on its side and you'll notice a hole button. The hole prevents you from making any accidental recordings. But I'm going to take it off hold and make a recording as I'm doing so now. To make a recording, press the red button. To stop a recording, make sure to press the button stop. Now, I want you to press the display menu. Shortly after that on the left side, press the folder finder. You'll notice that these little folders up top change. This is now folder B. You can see that there's folder C, folder D, and folder E. I made my recordings earlier in folder A. I'm now going to switch to folder B and make a recording there. That way I have multiple recordings. Folders are great for organization. Whether you make recordings of different people or different days, you can organize by folders. To erase a recording, press the orange bottom on the button and follow as directed. You'll notice if I press the erase button, it'll ask you to press the right hand side to erase or the left hand side to cancel. Step 2. Upload. To upload your files, go ahead and turn your recorder around. You'll notice a release button. Press that while pulling both ends at the same time and you'll notice a USB side. Go ahead and stick that into whatever laptop you please. I'm going to do it into my Mac Air. With a Mac Air, go ahead and press Finder and you'll find the folder which has different folders of folder A, B, C, D, and E. I'm going to go into folder A and I'll find the first original two recordings that I made. Double click to play or if you'd like to save it, go ahead and drag it to your desktop or you can also place it in a folder that's already on your computer. And that's save. Always reject your audio recorder device before removing it from your computer. Brought to you by 